Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, I guess it's the full moon energy, huh? Um, 17th, 18th, so the real full moon, the real full moon energy has been coming in for a while now, but you know, today is the 17th that I am recording this, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Still covered in hair, but that's a reality. What do we have for a message today? Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this man is going to be very prominent. Whatever's happening, this man is going to be highly involved. Part of the script. Let's get one more. Seahorse, it is sideways, family matters. This could be a family member, okay? Somebody, this man may be dealing with some family issues. This could be you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. This family matters are on the table. And this is about fairness as well, because of the fair, the word fair. So in all fairness, and this is a full moon in Aries, but it's in, we're in Libra season, which is in fairness. So, um... We do have some family issues that are going on. It looks like we have somebody here that is making a decision. Um, in all fairness, let's get one of these just for the heck of it. Act now, think later. So it appears that it is action time. Act now, think later. That's an advice card, huh? Act now, think later. So it is action time, and that, well, that would make sense. That's Aries and Libra right there. Fairness and action. So that's what we have so far. What, oh, I have, I have a flipper. This one's reversed. It's shine. It's... Um, Not shining, not happy, despair, depressed. There's some sort of false impressions. There may be some sort of disillusionment, you know. Definitely not happy. We have somebody here that's not happy. They may be lacking clarity could be you if you're lacking clarity you're being called to reach for the light right act now it's funny how the light is shining in reach for the light There could be some poor health here. I feel like we have somebody here that's been in a dark place. There could be relationship problems. And I say that with the sun reverse can represent relationship problems. We got two right here. Fell out. Ooh. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands reverse. So this is definitely about action. And we have something that has been delayed. Maybe there's been some sort of delayed action. Lack of growth. Lack of desire. Uh, an inaction due to maybe a lack of ambition, a lack of drive, or um, not seeing something. Maybe there's been a lack of vision. Um, there's been some sort of blocked blessings. Somebody's not been letting their, their blessings in. It feels like there's been somebody here that maybe has been burned out or burned even. Um... Act now, think later. Knight of Wands, that is somebody that is very driven. That is very driven, that is fearless and bold and brave and um, takes risks. So, act now, think later is the name of the game. Okay, it definitely is. This Ace of Wands reverse, with, there's, there's some sort of blockage. I also feel like we have something that is... Um, not coming to fruition, right? With that Ace of Wands reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that needs to take action to have growth, needs to take action to go after what they're passionate about, you know? 
I feel like there's been a lack of drive and ambition, but we may have somebody here that is in a dark place and it's like they're, they're reaching for the light, coming out of a dark place per se. Act now, think later. King of Coins, King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Very much a very fiery energy, probably mostly Mars energy, Aries energy, but we also have a fair man that's making a decision. King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but then again, it doesn't have to be. This is typically a wealthy individual, typically a wealthy man. Okay, it can be a feminine, but it's a masculine actually, but it's a feminine energy as well. So it could be a man or male or female. Anyhow, the King of Pentacles is somebody that can turn anything into a profit. This is somebody that is very mature, wise, um, educated, hardworking, um, has probably worked their whole life to obtain financial security, maybe may have some sort of um, guidance to give you or maybe even financial help. This could also be you doing some sort of work. Maybe you've learned something and now you're stepping into a position of um, authority because kings are people that are in a position of authority. This is acting, taking action that will bring long-term stability, security. Um, this is somebody that accepts responsibility. This could be a businessman, okay? The king of coins is typically somebody that is very business-oriented, um, very focused on security, financial security, long-term stability, and prosperity. So this person has something of value in their hand, something solid, stable, real. They've earned it. They've worked for it. This person is very knowledgeable as well. Somebody may be uh, giving somebody some help or they may be receiving some help from this man. We do have fair man here. To be fair, right? To be fair. It is action time. This is about prosperity and security. And there's been darkness and there's been disillusionment. There's been false impressions. There's been a lack of growth. The chariot. The chariot is somebody that is taking charge, getting in the driver's seat, um, taking the wheel, uh, moving forward, leaving something behind, um, taking a journey, finding the discipline to, and the willpower to go in a new direction. The chariot is a warrior, okay? The chariot is a warrior. This is somebody that is very driven, um, not afraid, okay? Headed towards victory, headed towards success, leaving behind a dark situation, leaving behind a period maybe of disillusionment, darkness, sadness, infertility. Act now, think later. There's a golden opportunity here for victory and success. You have to take charge. You have to get in the driver's seat. It's time to go, right? Act now, think later. Focus on the future, okay? Focus on your long-term stability. It's getting grounded, but moving. Somebody's moving. They're moving out of a dark phase, right? That sun card reversed is behind that chariot. Okay, that's, that's darkness. There's disillusionment as well. Lack of clarity. Maybe in poor health. Poor health. There's, somebody's been in a really unhealthy situation. We have stabilizing and moving. So we do, there's forward movement here. Act now, think later. It's time to put in the work. Do the work. You have the skills. You are capable. Five of coins reverse. There's been some sort of hardship, maybe financial hardship, abandonment, neglect. Um, this could be a turning point. 
light at the end of the tunnel, help arriving. Act now to achieve success. It is action time. We have somebody here that is doing something, doing something brave, bold. I would say get ready for some fast forward movement, okay? Fast forward. Things could happen fast. The economy's been going down, and that's the truth, okay? And we all know that, right? <laughs> Somebody hasn't been receiving any help or getting any help, but it feels like there's some sort of help here. I don't know. Act now. Think later. Be practical. Accept responsibility. Act with integrity. It's time to set new goals. Get in the driver's seat. Take charge. It's time to go. Come out of this period of neglect and lack. Act now. Think later. There's an opportunity here for... Maybe it's a new business deal. I don't know. There's an opportunity here for something that is very secure, but you have to get in the driver's seat and you have to leave something behind. The chariot is moving forward, not backwards, right? So you have to leave something behind. Somebody has, the, the, like I said, the King of Pentacles, typically a very wealthy man that, you know, has something, you know, solid, stable, and real, very focused on security. There is help here maybe there's help arriving i don't know maybe something is coming that is going to um well this is light at the end of the tunnel there is some sort of family matters here and this is to be fair so there, i feel like there's a decision that is being made because kings are decision makers okay they're authoritative figures typically that make decisions so there's a decision that is being made Strength. Strength is courage. Nothing to be ashamed of. Be yourself. This is finding the discipline. Self-control. Earning trust. Overcoming fears. We're moving into a stronger period. Somebody has gained a lot of strength through loss. The strength card is mirroring the sun reversed. That is strength from loss, strength from darkness. It's like, what is it, dark night of the soul type of situation? Act now, think later. We have an opportunity here for success and headed towards success. We do have a turning point. It, we have somebody here that is doing something brave and bold. They're facing their fears, okay? Something that they've been afraid to do. They've been disillusioned. They've been in a dark place. They've been unclear. It's definitely action time. So I would say that it's action time. We have something that may have not come to fruition. Maybe there's been some sort of abandonment, neglect, or delays, or some sort of significant hard times. I feel like it's a going to come to fruition now. Be prepared for some movement from darkness to light. Good luck.